Some other English tests use computers for the speaking section. Here's why the all speaking test is with the real person. Last time I checked, I was in the machine. <coughs> and I'm pretty sure you are not a robot either. The good thing is, neither is ALS. The ALS speaking test has always been one on one and face to face. Unlike some other English tests where you have to speak into a computer, the ALS test is structured more like a conversation between the examiner and the test taker. English is a spoken language between two or more people, an exchange of words and ideas. The most accurate way to judge a person's ability to speak in English is to allow them to talk naturally and listen to them as we do in our natural environments. Speaking to a computer doesn't mimic the real life experience of speaking English to a person. A person doesn't time out if you take too long to respond. If you don't understand or don't hear a question, a person can clarify for you. It's totally natural not to be able to understand some of the questions the examiner might ask you. Think about how many times a day you have to ask someone to repeat or explain something in your own language. In the all speaking test, you can ask the examiner to repeat a question if you don't understand. Just make sure you ask politely. You could say something like, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you say that again, please? You can also ask the examiner to explain the meaning of a word if you don't know it. By using a person, not a computer, the all speaking test more closely reflects the everyday environment of speaking English, giving you a better chance to do your best.